recording? Okay, so, all right, we made it to the first shoot location again using the Sigma 18 to 50 2.8 DGDN E mount. Uh, going to Z mount, this is a crop sensor lens equivalent to around a 27 to 75 at 2.8 using the Megadap ETZ 21 adapter. Okay, first couple of shots. Uh, Jasmine, this will be full body. One thing I need to point out is for Nikon, this is going the wrong way. I say wrong way because for Canon, Canon, you turn the zoom lens like this, right, Godfrey? Canon's like this, mm -hmm. Nikon's the other way, so I gotta get used to it, the zoom ring like this. Okay, Jasmine, full body. the IAF is is pretty quick so Jasmine moving around the lens again acts like a native very quick Body a little bit to your left. Good, good. Just like that. Hey everyone, we are here at Aston Park. I'm reviewing the Sigma 18 to 50 2.8 DGDN. This is no stranger to the channel. <laughs> Jasmine has been on about five times already. Yeah. And we are doing her doctoral portrait shoot. So let me be one of the first to introduce Dr. Wenzel. <laughs> Can you please tell a little bit about yourself? Hi guys, uh, my name is Jasmine Wenzel. As, as James has um, announced before, I've been here a few times, so mm -hmm. super excited to work together. We were, we were colleagues at one point and now we're good friends, so. Yes. Here we are today, about to have more fun. Yes, we are having fun, and as you can see, we're, we're squinting because we're against the sun, but this lighting is really good, especially with the background. Jasmine's blue dress contrasting with the blue background. Uh, this lens is not bad, actually. It's, it's giving us a lot of great pictures. Can do really wide and really close. And it's really lightweight, around 290 grams. Filter thread is around 55 millimeter filter thread. So I'm gonna use this lens throughout the whole photo shoot. So we'll keep on shooting. We're shooting. All right. So some internal features about this lens is it has 13 elements in 10 groups, around three of those dispersion elements, I think one special element to help prevent chromatic um, aberrations, CA, uh, seven blades, seven diaphragm blades. Uh, so far I haven't really noticed any ghosting or flaring, uh, flaring, but when the sun goes down, which is going to go down in about 20 minutes, I'm going to see if I can shoot against the sun and see if I can uh, see any flare. Uh, it does come with a lens hood when you buy it, so that's a plus, and it's an affordable lens. Uh, Jasmine, so far, oh, let me turn your mic. How are you liking the photos? I'm really liking the photos. Um, it seems like you can't see any glare in it, which I like. Yeah. And even though the sun's directly on me, it's not as harsh as um, it seems I noticed, like it would be. Yes. I notice it seems like the highlights a little bit more controlled yeah. when the sun's directly on you. It's not really blown out. Right. A, a lot of so contrast. I like how it's subtle. Yeah. And it adds a lot of color. It does. Yes. It's it's good glass for the price. It's pretty good. I like the pictures. They're turning out pretty well. Yeah, actually they are. A lot of good a lot of good photos. I can't wait to see what else we can do. Yeah. We're gonna shoot against the sun. Yeah. We're waiting for that picture you showed me earlier. Oh yeah, okay. Really bright, uh, kind of low contrast a little bit. Um, yeah, really bright picture, uh, colorful. Yeah, we'll see. Sun's almost there. Let's do it. Yep. 
or 540 like that. Seven? Yeah. Oh, careful. No more sand here. Okay, what's interesting is it says close focusing, a lot of wind here. It's 4.8 inches. Wow, let me get even closer. 4.8 inches is the closest, which is pretty. The ZFC is trying to catch it out of wind. That's pretty close. No, right there. Let's go see. And it's pretty sharp. I think this is a good size for the Nike ZFC. It actually just came out for X mount. This today is November 22, 2022. And this was just released for X mount. But again, I'm using the Sony E mount to Z mount. Okay, sun's slowly going down. My slippers are slipping. <laughs> it's too that, wet. Get that, get no, my slippers, my, my feet is slipping from the slipper. <laughs> no, because I got wet in the ocean. The only thing using this adapted lens on the Nikon CFC, it doesn't have the JPEG profiles. So if you just shoot JPEG, you're going to get some vignetting in the pictures. I can show you when we get home on the computer. So I'm actually shooting JPEG and RAW, just so I can edit the RAW files and take away the vignetting. Jasmine is getting her giant doctorate diploma, and we're gonna see if we can shoot against the sun that's actually setting right now. shoot took exactly an hour a little bit over an hour I burned 300 calories you're a doctor you should know 300. about 300 calories jumping yeah. up and down in hills with balloons and the diploma yes worth it though yes sun is setting pretty early this year around 5 45 mm -hmm. we got a lot of awesome shots this is a really Ooh. awesome lens for like a 24 to 70, 2.8 replacement. Uh, 27 to 75, I think is equivalent. 2.8, uh, really sharp lens, really small, convenient to, to bring even on vacation. And I can tell, we got a lot of good photos. Oh yes, a lot. I love yeah. all of them. So I fun. just can't wait to go home and I think, what kind of edit do you want? Like a very bright? Yeah, bright outside. Sunny, natural, colorful, natural, yeah.
It'll be good. And I'm sure the viewers have seen the photos already on the screen while watching the video. Yes, I'm so excited to see it. Me too. Garfield's laughing behind the camera. <laughs> it's like I'm not, I am, I am excited to see it. My first time using this lens for a photo shoot. I never used it before. Wow, really? Yeah. So and you really knew how to maneuver it. Oh, thanks. I just like how with the zoom lens, you can go really wide for environmental portraits. Really nice mm -hmm. place here in Aston Beach Park and really close for tight shots. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that variety that you used, especially when we went down to the beach. Yeah, the rocky area. You got a lot of the background of the rocks, so I thought that was really cool how it could do that. Yeah, very versatile lens. Mm -hmm. And of course, thank you for always helping me out for YouTube thank all the time. Thank you for helping me out. Of course. With my grad picks. Of it's course. a win-win. Yep. COVID's still around or it's okay? <laughs> it's okay. Well, she has hand sanitizer in her in her bag. Yeah, so <laughs> Gotta sanitize we'll sanitize after this. when the video cuts. Oh, oh there, Godfrey has to. Thank you, Godfrey. Okay. Thank you everyone for watching Guam Photography. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Bye. Bye. All right, we are home now. Let's take a look at some raw files. All these images have been unedited and I just want to show you the difference between the raw and the JPEG. So zooming in and 100%, 2.8, this lens is very sharp, wide open. And if you look at the JPEG of this, which is also unedited, you'll see some strong vignetting in the corners here of this JPEG. You can actually see it more on this JPEG uh, in the corners here, very strong vignetting. But again, uh, going to the raw file, of this image, it is very sharp, very sharp, wide open at 2.8. And I didn't notice any CA or chromatic aberrations like on the bright uh, spots on Jasmine's balloons when the sun was shining on it. And I do want to point out that the ocean in the background is distorted. It is not that straight and this was shot at 50 millimeters to confirm going to library upper left hand side yes shot at the most telephoto and 50 millimeters and what you can actually do uh, to correct the distortion in the background is scroll down to under lens correction enable profile corrections because remember uh, this is an adapted email lens so the Nikon ZFC doesn't have any JPEG lens profile Click on Enable Profile Corrections, Make, you gotta choose Sigma. And then there we go. Vignetti has is corrected somewhat and even the distortion. So going back and forth, and you know the JPEG is edited in camera, so a little bit more vibrant. So JPEG, RAW, JPEG, and RAW. I think it does a good job of correcting. Shooting Jasmine against the sun, uh, no chromatic aberrations against the edges of the, of the diploma. Uh, JPEG version, raw version again. Let's see how much of a difference. Enable profile corrections and we go down to Sigma. There we go. So Vinetti in the corners are gone compared to the JPEG and distortion somewhat fixed. You can try to match it by adding some vibrance, saturation, lower down highlights, exposure, shadows. The JPEG is still a little bit more vibrant, so. There you go. If you are looking for an alternative uh, for the kit lens that actually comes with the Nikon ZFC, you can get the Megadap ETZ21 adapter. It's around 200 some dollars on B&H. And just mounting this on the ZFC, I felt like it was a native lens. It was focusing really quickly. It was, it's very sharp, wide open. Uh, feels like, um, like a 24 to 70, 2.8. But remember the equivalent field of view is uh, around a 27 to 75, I believe for this. And even the bouquet won't really seem like a 2.8 It's probably around more of like an F4 throughout the range, but overall very good lens. You do need a, you do need to edit the raws just to as shown here, 
just to get rid of some of the vignetting and some of the distortion in the lens. Thank you everyone for watching Guam Photography, and if you haven't, please subscribe.